the refugee reception center, which are in the main post offices. Attention, all males in the junction group 
He's like, I saw it. You heard the man. Get down on your damn knees. <laughs> Hands on your head. Yeah. Big smile on your face. We just might leave you alive. Well. Hello there. Yeah. Ain't you a pretty thing? <laughs> Leave her alone. I told you to keep your hands on your head and your mouth shut. No, sir. You told us to keep on smiling. <laughs> You're smart, aren't you? Real slick. All right, then. You smile, then. Let's see you smile. Anything else you like? Nothing much, sucker. Your boots, your canteen. What the hell else you got worth taking? Stand up. Pull them off real slow. You too! Move! Come on! Get him off! Get him off! Now, get down on your knees again. Hands on your head. You all just stay right there, on your knees. Sarge, you see they do. <laughs> I've got a few words I want to whisper to this pretty little lady here. You come with me. No. No, let you me let go. her go, you pig. No. Ah. No. Next. Come on. Friendlander. Take it, you folks, as new arrivals. 
I guess we are. Yes. Don't you know? It's hard to be sure of anything. Yeah. Well, there's one thing you can be sure of. This here's my territory. On the law right here, you can be certain of that. It's against the law to ask where we are? Well, the only thing anybody knows around here is what they read in their identity cards. And <laughs> hey, what does yours say, little lady? No, I can guess what it says. It says you're a murderer, don't it? Yeah. Hey, you. You're a killer, too, ain't you? Yeah. All of you. All of you are killers. <laughs> well, don't let it worry you none, because we all are. That's why we're here. <laughs> all right, now, follow me. I'm going to take you into town. Oh! There's one thing that never changes in this world or in the next. If you're pretty, <laughs> you're right! <laughs> time to welcome you and to warn you this is blood city and we do things a little different around here what do you mean meaning step careful till you know your way around now stay close to me because we going into town <laughs> Just citizens. But why? I mean, what's wrong with them? Are, are we some kind of freaks? No, 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 no. The folks is just a little different out here. You're going to get used to it. Yeah. Uh, Listen, do you mind? No, help yourself. New arrivals get to eat free. Well, it's very generous of you. Yeah, sure. We're real generous people. We'll take good care of you till we decide who gets you. Who gets us? <clears throat> yeah, well, you see, we're simple folks and we got a, uh, a simple system. Uh, you're going to stay here till sundown tomorrow. <laughs> then we're going to have the official choose. The citizens who got the right to choose pick a new arrival to work for them. Room and board, no pay, of course. Now, you work hard for one year and you get the opportunity to be a shopkeeper. Or maybe even a bodyguard. Meanwhile, we're slaves. We get chosen to be slaves. Is that what you mean? Yes, well, you could call it slaves if you like, but it's slaves. You'll probably live because you got the owner's protection. Hell, it's against the law to give a slave. But what if we don't want to be slaves? You don't have to be. This is a free country. Mean what? Meaning you can be a slave or you can take a chance. Now, let me get this straight. You mean that I can walk out of here anytime I want to? Yeah, sure, of course. I'm getting the hell out of here. You make sure you do that, it's right. You walk out of here and you've got no protection, no owner, no job, no money, no gun. Keep the citizens out there. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead out there, right away from me. Get out. Want to go? Get out of here. <laughs> Why don't you get yourself something to eat? Stand up, girl. 
Yeah, you, come on. Anything I can do for you? Uh, that girl knew right of them. Yeah. Well, I'll take her right now. Ah. Uh, ain't choosing time yet. Uh, you ain't gonna make me wait, are you? I've got more right to choosing anyone now, don't I? No, you don't. You might come second, but I come first. According to law, I get first pick. And uh, you'd be very wise to remember that. I ain't forgetting. What hell, you already caught a woman. You're just one in town, too. So you're already taken care of. So I'm next, and I'll take her. Well. Uh, ain't you the, the lucky little girl? Mr. Geller's getting to be a real important man around here. I might have your job someday. Oh, yes, 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 any time. Yes, sir, you're welcome to it. Well, right now I've got some other job in mind. Come on, you pup. Let's take a look at you. Oh, me? <laughs> well, now, back side, just about as pretty as the first side. Come on, Gil. That's enough! <laughs> Right, Mr. Friendlander? Goddamn fool. There was no call for that. Oh, I could have swore he had a gun. And it was self-defense, right? I suppose. Yeah. I suppose you're full of shit. If you don't mind my saying. Hey, sucker. You want some of what he got? Shut your mouth and get out of here. Take those punks and get out. What about the girl? You wait till they choose do me a favor, but I'll jail that trigger happy fool. I'm not inclined to do you two in one day. Get the hell out! Come along with me, miss. Where are you taking her? A girl like her in a town like this causes an awful lot of trouble for a man like me. She's better off locked up. Is that the law? No, man. It's just common sense. That's why Blood City was created, darling. Weed out the losers. There's a breed of people that seem to get themselves killed at the very first opportunity. I have a pawn on my side. Seems quite promising. Subject's name is Michael Lewis. That is L-E-W-I-S. Promising pawn. If I had a dollar for every promising pawn, I'd take you out to dinner. Well, I just have a feeling. You wouldn't like to put your money where your pretty mouth is, would you? I'll give you odds. It's not very scientific or hygienic. No, man, it's just common sense. Let's see how your promising pawn survives playing G1. It is now your move. We should stay put. I got a feeling he's right. Be chosen like a herd of cattle. Protective cattle. No, thank you. And Lewis. Lewis, don't go out there. Those people are crazy. They're... I 
just gonna... You're just gonna turn my shop into a shooting gallery. Coming in here, dressed in these clothes. You get back to the arrival now, Hey, hey, hey. Come back to my shop again until you've got a slave collar and a note from your master. Get out of the way, you fool. Thank you for bringing me all this luck. You know who you are? You are, mister, number nine. Number nine? Nine. Nine what? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody else got no claim on this boy, right? Go on, buddy. I'm gonna buy you a drink. I guess it's better than a kick in the ass. <laughs> I think. <laughs> no offense, right? And you're not offended, are you? Accidents happen. Now you, uh, you drink your coffee. You ordered it. You drink it. No, you, uh, you ordered it. Drink it. Or, uh, maybe you want some sugar in it. Is that what you want? <laughs> Ha, <laughs> 
Now, I put sugar in with my own hand. So you drink it. Or you'll be insulting me. And you wouldn't want to insult me, would you? I do believe that I've had enough. Uh, thanks for drinking. Well, sit! Are oh, you insulted me? Are you all heard, you bastard? Yeah, we sure yeah, did. We heard it. You insulted me. You didn't enjoy my company, ain't that right? That's, That's right. right. That's right. We're right. right. Mm -hmm. According to the law, I've been offered provocation. <laughs> and now I'm going to kill you. I'm going to give it to you right between the eyes. Why? According to the law, if I'm insulted, offered provocation, and I can kill you, and it's a fair fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, what uh, does the law say about my holding still? Damn gun fired high. You to get that gun fixed, boss, and you want to wear your specs. Nice to see you again. <laughs> well, how do you like a little town, eh? Uh, it's, uh, it's not a bad place to visit, but I'd sure as hell I had to die here. <laughs> now sit down. I don't like looking up at a man when I'm talking to him. <sighs> now what's your problem? There's men out there. They're trying to kill me. Ooh. Well, why don't you kill him first? <laughs> They've got guns. I don't. They're armed. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, it does give an edge, don't it? I want some help. Yeah, and people in hell want ice water. I can't help you. <laughs> then will you lend me a gun so I can help myself? I can't do that either. It's against the law to give a new arrival a weapon. Huh? Now, you wouldn't want me to break the law, would you? If you won't help me, then I just can help myself, that's all. Yeah. Oh, here. Yeah, back off, son. At least tell me why those men out there want to kill me and why you're going to let them. I got no legal right to stop it. You're a new arrival. Any citizen can kill you and get credit for the kill. That is, if it's a fair fight, meaning that you started it. Offered a provocation. Exactly. Of course, you do have the right to defend yourself. You killed a citizen first if you can. Then you become a citizen. And you get all the citizens' rights. The right to kill somebody. Equal opportunity. Oh, I just don't understand what the hell you're talking. Kill or be killed. What is it with you people? Why does everything come down to murder? Why is everything kill, kill, kill? Why? Who did I ever kill? I never killed anybody. Someone's got it. credit for the kill and I'll kill you anyway, it's the law. Look, I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Figured you had possibilities if you'd only put your nose clean until you learned which end was up. For the last time. Get out. No, not that way. Pronto. This 
sending me out there to get killed by Chief and then I say goodbye. a man's name before you try to kill him? Oh, not around these parts. You can, you can ease off that shotgun, if you don't mind. We ain't gonna bother you. Oh, we, uh, we don't shoot folks for fun, just for profit. You bet. We have nothing against you. We was just doing our jobs. Well, uh, what kind of work you boys do? Work? Hell, we're bodyguards. that outfit for some other citizen makes play for you. Flint's got some new duds, ought to fit you fine. Hell, everything that poor bastard had's yours now. Including the target on the back of his shirt? Better than slaves' rags. Ah, but something in between. Like that shopkeeper over there. You ain't no shopkeeper, boss. That's one pawn you're going to lose. Not if I can help it. Kathy, you know as well as I do, it's against principles. Personal interference, it's a foul. You have no right to program yourself into this game. All I did was to extend the possibilities. Psychosexual overtones are pre-programmed by the supervisor, not me. Mm. <laughs> of course, not you. Don't be so damn silly, Lyle. Please don't lecture me about principles. You should know by now that everything that happens in the game plan happens for a reason. Don't sulk. All right. If you two don't mind restraining yourselves on the department's time, perhaps I might have your interim analysis. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well. Not funny. I'm getting a lot of static from the head of the project. We are constantly late with our interim reports, and they don't like it. Now, really, that's hardly fair. Our team does the most complex game plans. Does the head expect miracles? Exactly. Miracles. Seriously. You two do understand. We've got to have results. We need survivors. We need them desperately. Well, if I could get on with my work, sir. <laughs> Come on this way, Doc. Come on. Come on. I killed the dentist? <laughs> you sure did. 
You hit it lucky. You drilled the right guy. I don't think your last employer would think so. Yeah, we was taken by surprise. We didn't know you had a shooter. Shooter? Oh, yeah. Did you see where that gun came from? Too busy looking after my own sweet hide to see anything. Same here. What about the woman? Did you see her? Do yourself a favor. Forget about that one. And you did see her? No. I'm oh, sorry. Don't think I did. By the way, uh, just out of curiosity, since you're so good, what's to keep you from killing me and going to business for yourself? <laughs> it's against the law for a bodyguard to kill his own boss. We're not animals, you know. No, sir. We're honest, loyal, fast on the draw. We only take 25% of the profits. That's fair, isn't it? <laughs> You want to talk to Lewis. Here he is. Just give me a shout when you want to get up. Tells me that you're a citizen now, that uh, you've got citizens' rights. <laughs> yeah. I killed a man, so they made me a citizen. I gotta kill a man, too. You what? Kill her. I don't want to be his slave. I... I couldn't stand that. You can refuse. Oh, come on. Anything I said, he'd take me anyway. You know that. Unless I can stop him. My you your gun. No. But you can get yourself shot. Uh -uh. Well, if you won't let me help myself, then... Then will you... Kill Geller for you? My... My please, I need some help. It's not that easy. Look, we're in a place, we don't know where, we don't know why. We don't know anything. Except I just had to kill a man for the first time in my life. To stop him from killing me. Well, if that man, that, that pig Geller, if, if he touches me, it'll be like he was killing me. I mean that, Mike. I, I couldn't stand it. Will you help me, Mike? I'll do something. You promise? Yeah, hey, I promise. you 
not only the hospitality, perhaps, but the best in the house. And that's me. With a face of champagne? I knew you were a gentleman. Come on. I hope he didn't see you. We're old friends. But he likes to think sometimes that we're more than old friends, if you get my meaning. He's jealous? You could say that. Well, what would he feel about you and me being up here together? He'd probably kill you. taking this much too personally, you realize. Really. It's a kind of pornography. <laughs> you are jeopardizing... Hello? You are jeopardizing the entire project. Shotgun from now, would you? One you feel flint with? Friday, friend, He's there, there, you fart. About that gun, you were saying, uh... What makes you so interested? Well, it's getting the law to give a new arrival a weapon. I just interested. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll tell you. One of these days, I took my thing. Come on, we ain't got all day. <laughs> mind if we take our 25 percent now just in case they mean just in case in case you're real serious about that little gal martin one old geller's got staked out for himself you better listen to the old man tell me friendlander you can call me mr friendlander tell me you take 25 percent from every business in town that's right well, you're into a good thing. Well, 
Any man qualified for the job is welcome to try for it. But nobody wants the job, is that right? Hell, every man jack here wants the job. Everybody wants to be king of shit hill, but ain't that easy. Oh, no, that's funny. I thought it would be easy. I mean, after all, you've got no bodyguard. Mm. Don't need any. Let me ask you, uh, just for the sake of discussion, supposing I wanted your job, what would I have to do to qualify? Well, there's nothing to it. All you have to do is become immortal. Now, when we say immortal, we mean a man who's free of the fear of being killed by another man. Hmm. Well, uh, who do I have to kill to be so lucky? Get the right automatically after 20 legitimate kills. That's 20 fair fights. That's all it takes. And no man can shoot you. That is the law. Let me ask you another question. How do I get the right to choose a woman? Oh, you got it already. You're a citizen. You mean I can go to a choosing and claim any woman I want? You could? If there was one to claim. Martine. Taken. Not until the choosing she's... Now, you listen to me. The day you go up against old Geller is the day that you die. And that is a fact. You better think about that. Friendlander sent me. He wants to see over at the jail right away. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you, are you okay? Fine. Not so fine as you. Still okay. Compared to Ricardo, I'm alive. Compared to Martina, I'm free. Of course, compared to you. Come on, boss, you wait up! You go with the boss. I wanted to ask you. You remember how we got here? We walked, that's how. My feet won't let me forget it. No, 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 no. Before that. Before we started walking, I can remember. What? All I can remember is that there was. subject must have a hell of a resistance to pseudo-realities. Uh, how about that other subject? That guy, Peter. Is he all right? Peter, he's fine. No danger of him remembering. All he cares about is that Lewis has boots and he doesn't. Friend Landers in there. Hey, where are you going? Gave me some chores to do, chopping wood like that. Damn it, that's the way they do things around here. It's their system, not mine. Well, why do you play by their rules? You played by their rules. You got lucky this time. Maybe next time I'll get lucky.
See a bunch of muscle along here. Yeah? Here, sit down, you old fart. Catch your breath. Maybe well, getting old, but I can still run your ass off. And I ain't sitting down. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, girlfriend's been asking for you. She must think you're gonna ride in at the last moment on a big white horse and save her from that ugly old hog gilly. Is that what you plan to do? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think it's funny, because it is? The only white horse around here is mine. No matter how bad smelling an ugly old geller is, he's got a right to the woman. That's law around here, and that's what you got to understand. Yeah, I understand. You, uh, want no trouble? <laughs> you understand perfectly. Come on, see her. You know where to find her. Choose her, she's yours. Don't see any reason to take a bath. Yeah. How well you want a girl to appreciate you, especially not to stink too bad again. Girl don't appreciate you. Come alongside her head once or twice. You see how darn fast she appreciates you. Boy, all you know about women, you can stick up your nose and you still have plenty of room to breathe. Well, I know this much about women. You can't treat them too bad, but you can treat them too good. I hope your hands are clean. You put a mark on that hat, I'll put a mark on your hide. That sure's a handsome hat. That hat cost me a hundred dollars. What are you gawking at? Come on, more hop on it. Come on. some truth to every rumor, which particular rumor did you have in mind? Folks are saying that you are going to challenge Gala at the choosing today. Well. Yeah, I've gone crazy. Don't you realize there isn't a chance? Gala's gang outguns you by 15 men. How many men have you got? Well, not enough to make any difference. Then why? Because I promised a friend that I'd help her out. What's the sense in getting yourself killed for a friend? I don't intend to get myself killed if I can help it. You're beginning to disappoint me. Huh? I'm sorry. But I'd rather disappoint you than be ashamed of myself. And if I let a friend down, I'd be ashamed.
It's a couple of hours before the choosing. Time to change your mind? Not my mind I want to change. It's Geller's. Geller isn't a man who's going to change his mind. Well, then I'm just going to have to change you for him. I'm going back to the casino and take care of business. girl, the girl you're fixing to claim? Oh, yeah, what about it? Yeah, well, I'm afraid there's going to be a little problem. There's another fella in dents to claim her for yourself. Now, the man's name is Mac Lewis. That bastard who killed off Clint? Yeah. <laughs> you tell him about me. Yeah, I told him. He told me he didn't give a shit. You tell him I already got 19 notches in my gun? Yeah. You tell him I'm one killing away from immortality? Yeah. You tell him I intend to have that little lady you got locked up in the jailhouse? You tell him proper? Yeah. You belong directly. Why don't you tell him yourself? Have your woman, and you'll have your 20th killing before sundown. Yeah, come on, get in there. Come on. It's almost as if you wanted to terminate him. I don't want anything, except to find out who survives. And I'm not interested in any heroics, even if you are. I'm interested in finding exceptional men, aren't you? Depends on what you mean by exceptional. For our project, a man who can lead and kill, yet think and act for himself whilst working for the state. That's my exceptional man, and finding such a man is what this project is all about, isn't it? Exactly. And the elimination of those who don't measure up. Niall. It's nothing personal, as far as I'm concerned. You're feeding the input. You're structuring the stimuli. It is personal. You're setting him up. No. He's walking right into it. You son of a bitch. You're going to get him killed, aren't you? You don't need no help from me. Then we go over the arrival hall for the shooting boss. Right. We talk about your friend Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> the such thing is later. smile and stand real still. Does she want to see what a scattergun will do to a mess of meat? You two old farts are going to get yourself killed. 
Slow killed if you fool with us. Only a fool, fool with a fool. You scratch your nose and I'll blow your head off. Now, just wait a minute. What do you just wait a minute? We don't have to have any shooting. So what, what do you got in mind? Let's let's talk. You always wanted to talk. What's the matter? You're scared? You're goddamn right I'm scared, aren't you? You're scared of what? I'm scared of having our asses shot off. That's what. What is it with you people? Don't you want to survive? Don't you want to have a good life? Jeez. I don't understand all you people. All you do want is get killed. It's a little late in the game, but he's finally catching on. Alfred Keeley, you a little like him. What are you doing? You're reprogramming the situation. No, I'm merely restructuring it. I've spoken to the supervisor. He's given us permission to alter the game plan. I told him how impressed you were with this Lewis guy. And the supervisor thought it might be a good idea to let me change Lewis's coordinates, just to see if he could handle it. See if you could kill him. Kill? You mean terminate, don't you? Anyway, you're quite wrong. I'm only trying to reach a qualified conclusion. But you're changing the rules. Perhaps. But that's life, isn't it? me kill you all fair and square according to the law and then if you keep your gun on him let this boy looks even cute you blast him and this one is sold for 150 to 6743 now give your money to destiny and you get one collar for your new slave and now citizens we come to the highlight of this choice yeah <laughs> she already chosen well, now, maybe she ain't. Maybe, uh, Citizen Lewis here got something to say about that. <laughs> Citizen Lewis ain't got shit to say about anything, do you? Citizen. Well, I'm sorry. But then you, uh, you never really did have a chance, did you? God damn it, man. Look, I got me some shooting and some scoring to do before the moon comes up. Get that girl out of here, Sheriff. Let's get on with it. Get the girl. She'll be right along. Yeah, and hurry it up. Got yourself all prettied up, you old goat. Where'd your deputy to go to anyway, friend Lander? Cow, don't worry, he's coming. Yeah, so's Christmas. You're in such a hell of a hurry, why don't you just kill Mr. Lewis and get it over with? That way you won't have to waste any time getting at the girl. Why don't you just mind your own business and leave me to tend mine? Sure. She's I... gone! The girl, she's gone! Jesus, come on! Come on! Let's go see what the hell I got. Hey, Jesus, Jesus, come on! 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 Come on, you tell me that, friend Lander. She was right there in your jail. How did she get out? I don't know yet. You know. And don't call me a liar, please. You had your eye on that girl ever since she come in here. And now that your ex-lady friend is done with you, you figure on getting yourself a new one? Hmm. What was that about my ex-lady friend? Oh, mister, everybody in town knows that you've been having it off with Miss Catherine. Die. Now, 
you forget the rules of Blood City. I am immortal and you cannot kill me. I get this shit. We'll see how immortal you'll be when I pull this trigger. Tell me where you hid that girl. I might if I knew. You know. And you tell me first, I'll take your gun. <laughs> well, you're making a bad mistake, friend. Now you listen, friend. I only need one more kill. I don't give a damn whether it's him or you. Now you ease that gun out nice and slow. A very big, a very bad mistake. You tell me all about it. I'll first take your gun. <laughs> Killing and he would have been immortal. Of course, there's something you can't afford to lose. Are you gonna shoot that fella? No reason to, now that the boss is dead. No hard feelings. You buy him. All right, get him out of here. Come on, everybody clear out. Where's my team? Come on. I already said I don't know. Oh, don't you? I just killed a man, called me a liar. God damn it, where is he? Tell you the truth. All right. He didn't know where she is. If you want to know where she is, you're going to have to ask me. Because I'm the one who took her away. I was taking her to the old mine. She wanted to hide out until after the choosing. We'd gotten about as far as here when uh, all these men just came from nowhere. Yeah, looks like six, seven men. Only one rider got away. I ought to put you in jail. I'm not interested in what you ought to do. I'm interested in what you're going to do. What is it you would like me to do? I'd like you to get back to town and get some men. You fixing on riding up ahead? Taking a look at the outlaws camp? That's right. Hey, what makes you think you can find it? If I do get lost, the, uh, lady here will lead me to it. Well, I will. Anyway, I don't know the way. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Ah, oh, damn you. Come on. I'll meet you at the old mine. Soon. Outrageous. She has deliberately manipulated events in order to protect the subject, Michael Lewis. She has interfered with every we possible... We both interfered. But that is our job. We are trying to find women and men emotionally and physically equipped for leadership. I would like you to look at his primary pattern. I believe that we have a suitable candidate for Killmaster in Michael Lewis. Hmm. Yeah. It's very promising, but we need more than promises. We have to get new squad leaders. We're losing killmasters faster than we can replace them. We are falling behind. And of course, we all know what happens to people who uh, fall behind. Originally need a replacement of the Eastern Zone. Why not use Friendlander? He's already been equipped and trained. Oh, we intend to use him, but not quite yet. We have something rather special in mind for our man, Friendlander. Now, about this uh, Lewis person. If your fellow Lewis manages to qualify, I want him. Is that clear? No more diversions. Qualify him or terminate him. You know exactly where their hideout is, don't you? They didn't ambush you and my team. You took a right to them, didn't you? Why? Do you a favor, that's why. She's gonna get in your way every time you turn around. You mean she'll get in your way? Come on, we'll leave the horses here.
which is as far as I go. There must be at least 20 men in that camp. You gonna take them all by yourself? I'm not after 20 men. Just one girl. You think Friendland is gonna get help? He hasn't, I know him. Why are you doing this? You're throwing everything away. Damn you! I wouldn't cross the street to help you. Oh, 
Well, it seems you picked the winner after all. He's managed magnificently, I must admit. He's managed magnificently? I'm afraid Mr. Lewis has not come up to my expectations after all. But I don't understand. He's achieved everything. Whatever he's achieved, he's about to lose. Mr. Lewis is about to be terminated. Don't you see? No, I don't see. See what? yourself right across the street. I'm locking you up. And nobody's gonna let you go. Excuse me, sir, but you ain't exactly being fair. Now get out of the way, old man. I'm taking this hero off to jail. Now you can't! Alright, boy. Start walking. Would you shoot a man in the back? shoot a man in the back. I'd shoot him in the front. I'd shoot him in the side. I'd shoot him in God's house if I took a mind to. Now move.
everything ends. a citizen's arrest, even though I'm not a citizen yet. It'll only take one shot to make me one. I'm charging you with the murder of Mr. Friendlander. Now drop your gun. What was you up to, Peter? This is your last warning. Come along peacefully or come along dead. Where'd you get that shotgun? That's right. Same place you got yours. Only I'm not going to let the lady down the way you did. You had your chance, you blew it. Now it's my turn. Stop right there. Peter. Can't you see? She, she set you up. Just the way she set me up. The supervisor disqualified your last move. It was outside the given coordinates. To hell with the given coordinates. He didn't pass my test. He's coming round, sir. Mm, thank you. Why has this man been revived after he failed? He did not fail. You failed. You exceeded your authority. Excuse us. The doctor and I have a technical matter to iron out. Don't be moved. Now, doctor, I don't want to argue with you. As far as I'm concerned, this man, Lewis, is exactly the kind of man we want. <sighs> Just 
he survived. But... No buts. to waste. I want that man ready to travel the moment the chopper arrives. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly clear, sir. You are right, I suppose. Thank you. Ha, 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 ha. 